today. <sighs> Someone said, was that picture photoshopped? Listen, guys, here's the thing about life. Here's the thing about life. Are you ready for this? Oh, actually, yeah, life, even for you guys. <clears throat> it doesn't matter what anybody says about you as long as they're talking. Rule number one in Hollywood, okay? And um, I would take it from someone like me who's been on TV for 13 years, okay? Consecutively on your TV screens for 13 years. <laughs> show after show after show after show after show. And now I have the beauty of working behind the scenes. Um, are you guys watching Joe the Millionaire on CBS? Are you guys, do you guys watch Floribama Shores? Do you guys watch um, Vinny's Love Show, Double Shot at Love, Bad Boys Club, Baddies? Listen, okay? the beauty of when people talk about you is that it's a trickle effect. Like, I cannot make this up. I cannot make this up. I went to bed last night and I posted my lashes, my Valentine's Day box. As of today, it's sold out. <laughs> it's sold out. Um, the amount of traffic that has came to my page today, the amount of sub more subscribers that went to Zeus. Hollywood is a very different industry. And one thing I must say to you guys is that it doesn't matter what people are saying as long as they're talking. When they don't ever say anything at all, that's when you should be worried. Well, at this point, I'm not worried. I'm like, it's like kind of like this, you kind of like, it's like, you know, like when you've been at a job for a long time, you're like, you have like, you're just like, you become the manager or you become the EPs and you can kind of do what the fuck you want because no matter what, I'm gonna be good. So it's kind of like that. So. I don't care what anybody says. And I know that makes people think, that's not true. I promise you, I went about my day today. I promise you tomorrow morning I have hundreds of lash orders to do. I promise you, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> but here's the thing. You need those people to talk about you. You need those people. You need them to watch your view. You, you need them in your in your lives to watch you. Your numbers go up. You need them to watch your stories. You need them to subscribe to Zeus. You need that. You need it. It's it's a must. Like it's almost like if they're not saying anything about you, it's not good. But Hollywood is not for everybody. Like today, um, I dedicated my story to all Jay-Z songs because I'm, I'm, it's like in the gym, I'm just like listening to different albums and different people. So today was a Jay-Z day and I love Jay-Z. I've always been the biggest Jay-Z fan. But anyways, um, Hollywood is just not for everyone. And that's why a lot of girls that come into this industry they it, they change their their image. They they change the way they look. They live at the plastic surgery centers. They um they get in high anxiety. They they're they're ease their feelings are easily hurt. Um, I'm really like a nigga. Like I'm really like a nigga at heart. Like like real life. Like I'm like a nigga. Like I'd be like on some nigga shit. Like, like a guy, like I, I grew up with a brother and I, like, like you can't hurt my feelings. Like it doesn't hurt my feelings. Like, I don't, but I feel like you guys should know that about me. I've been on TV for 13 years. Like I don't give a fuck what you guys are talking about. Just make sure you're talking about me. Click the link, subscribe, buy my lashes, buy my products. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, but it's difficult for you guys. I get it. Like the everyday person really has, like I have girlfriends that like their feelings get hurt. Like... They, they like things bother them when people like talk about them or if someone says they're ugly or if someone says like they're fat, like 
it bothers people. And I totally get that. Like, I just am like, I think I've just, but I've always been like this. But even so, when I came into this industry, like, I never gave a fuck. Like, I never gave a fuck. And it's like, all of this bashing, but I'm still on your TV screens. Like, it just doesn't add up. Like, if I was so fat and so ugly, how am I still 13 years in this industry making, I mean, I don't even want to say, I owe last year, I'm not even going to lie to you guys, the paper came, I owe a hundred something thousand dollars in taxes <laughs> from last year. I was going to pay it, go away. But like, are you kidding me? Like, what? I mean, guys. I make so much money in this industry. Deadass. And, and, <laughs> and where I'm going with this is, if I wasn't making money in this industry, I probably would be like, damn, I ain't making no money, I'm broke, and my fuckers talking shit about me, the fuck? But it's like, guys, I don't give a fuck what anybody says. Like, anyone. <laughs> Like, that's scary because I think you guys are probably like nah she's probably really mad I'm like like I want to laugh with you guys like what thank you lashes are sold out and I was like okay. and a bitch no she looked the fuck good so but hey I do want to say this shout out to whoever made the picture shout out to you shout out to it going viral Shout out to all the blogs who posted it. Shout out to all the niggas that are in my DM, even with a fucked up picture like that. I'm like, bro, what? All the blue checks, all the athletes, all the rap. It's, it's, it's honestly like, I just don't understand. Like, it's just weird. It's, it's a weird industry. I understand you guys don't get it, but either way. Um, so on that note, it's 6 30. And it's bubble bath time over here for baby girl. Um, I have more packing to do because I'm going to be gone for two months. Um, um, what was the other thing I was going to say? There's something else I was going to tell you guys. Oh, mm, one more thing. Someone said, now, Natalie, calm down, girl. Come down, you're on my live. What do you, how do you guys, this is another thing. How do you guys continuously come to my shit and tell me what the fuck to do? <laughs> That's becoming like really funny to me. First of all, I'm a really a boss ass bitch. Like I'm really the fucking boss, okay? Number one. Number two, I make too much money for anyone to disrespect me and talk to me fucking crazy, okay? Okay, hi. Number three, stop telling me what the fuck to do on my shows. That's another one. That's like, that's really important too. Cause I've been getting a lot of people like, just like trying to tell me what the fuck to do. Like, bro, I work on a lot of different shows on a lot of different networks. And it's just really crazy how motherfuckers be trying to tell you what to do at your job that you've been at for 13 years. It doesn't work like that. Okay. Um, and it's just like, just have some respect on my name. You know what I'm saying? Like, bitch been doing this shit for 13 years. And I'm still here. And I'm not going anywhere. I probably have another 10 under my belt. <laughs> and it's like, shit. Let me just keep trying to push this EP. Because a bitch over here. And on camera still. I mean, and these big channels calling. CBBs and Celebrity Big Brother London. Celebrity Big Brother. Blah, 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 blah. It's like, God damn. I need y'all little new bitches to do some Step up, hoes. Where y'all at? Why I gotta keep doing it? <laughs> oh, I think a check just got here. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm gonna slide out to the right and check the door really quick. Babe, can you look at the ring? Huh? Look at the ring. Because I'm in my panties. Who's at the door? Who's at the door? <laughs> it's a package! Journey what?
the neighbors saw me try to pull it down a little bit. The neighbors saw me. Just kidding. Um, what is this badges thing? I'm getting all of these badges. Someone said that's a Walmart mirror. Okay. Y'all can say whatever you, y'all can say whatever the fuck you want to say. It's a Walmart mirror behind me. Um, y'all are funny. Y'all are really funny. <laughs> it's a Walmart mirror. And my plates, where are my plates from? Tell me where my plates are from. Let me see. Where are my plates from? Where where is my table settings from? Walmart? <laughs> it's my settings from Walmart too. Because I'm pretty sure they're Z Gallery. <laughs> I'm pretty sure my mirror is from Z Gallery too. <laughs> but hold on, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> um Yeah, I think everything on this table and in this dining room is from Z Gallery. Where's chandelier from that's what i want to know too where's my chandelier from what about my chandelier it y'all are funny i love it here i love it here but i ain't want to gossip so if anyone asks you you ain't heard it from me